Okay, ladies, I am going to put these on. Um, I had like, I guess, three or four people say they wanted me to do the uh, uh, Munich Mulberry and the Coming Up Rose Gold. And so that's what I'm going to do. And my hands are already washed. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to show you what comes inside. You get the prep pad. You get 16 nail strips. And you also get a file. Now, I don't typically use these. Sometimes I do, but mostly I use my thumbs, um, which you will do last. But I use my thumbs for getting off the excess. And there are instructions on here on how to do it. But sometimes watching a video, you know, is easier. Um, if you're anything like me, I'm a visual learner. So. so we will begin and I'll open these up and I'll show you what I do. Okay, I apologize if you could hear the neighbor cutting grass outside. He started just as I was starting to do this. Okay, so I opened up my package, and you'll see you have two sets, and again, depending on how long your nails are, sometimes you can get your both hands done and both feet done. So, again, just according to how long your nails are. Now, one thing I will mention is you want to make sure that your nails, um, besides being clean, you want to make sure they're filed and you also want to push back your cuticles. So I kind of pre-did that. Uh, one thing about these is you do not want to get these on top of your cuticles. You only want it on your nail bed because if you don't, they will lift. You don't want it anywhere on your skin or anything. So just remember that. Now, also you want to do your thumbs last because your thumbs can be used as a tool when you are taking off the excess and I'll show you that and just because I'm a pro at this already these really big ones I take off because I use those on my feet if I'm doing my feet I'm not doing my feet today so um, these are actually a little too skinny for my pinkies but sometimes I will use them if I'm going to go over them with a uh, an accent of some sort so I usually take those off and the next one that I end up using for my pinky will be this one and I start with my pinky and I go inward but I don't do my thumb I will then go to this hand and start at the pinky and go and then I'll do my thumbs last so we already know that these are going to be for pinkies you could uh do what I do and I usually take what I'm going to use um, for each nail and normally I know what fits what nail after you use these a couple times you just automatically will know so um, let's see this will be my middle finger and I don't really need the ones like that um, that finger's a little wide, so I think that's good, like that. So that would be for one hand. Then I do the opposite for this one. So that would be my middle finger. I won't use that one. And that will be my ring finger, and this will be my pointer. Now, you also want to know that these don't try to just peel the backs off and stick them on because there is a clear coat there's a clear coat over these so make sure you peel that off first so I'm going to show you how I prep my nails before I put them on okay so I am opening my prep pad I can still hear my neighbor cutting grass I don't know if you can um, you're just going to give a little wipe down to your fingernails. 
and it just uh, takes off any oils that you might have on your fingers or on the nail bed because then it helps uh, helps your nails adhere way better so okay give that a second to dry and we will start with the pinky so like I said you're going to peel this top layer off it's just a clear protective covering for the nail for the polish then there's a silver tab that you will pull away from the backing and then you will pull the tab off carefully and you really want to be a little careful with the solids because they are thin and they can rip easy if you pull on it too hard so um, my, some of my nails are crooked they just grow weird so I start right above my cuticle and I s gently stretch it to go over now if you get it crooked you can lift it gently and put it back down so I've got this one on you can see where the end of my nail is but I'm going to commit and push down and forward so middle and do the sides and you want to get that good now if there's a little bit of hang over on the sides and stuff you can clean that up after you get your nail on so just do that now if I'm trying to save which my pinky broke a while back so um, I don't even have to use this strip you know I could have even more for my toes because I still have all this left if you're trying to save what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend it over your nail and slowly score it and now I've got that left over that I could do my other pinky and that one's done so we could take this I think I bent it though yeah try not to bend it but because that one's broke I know this will fit on here So just like that, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm not even watching to see if my hands are in the, okay, and then you take your thumbnail and you just score it underneath your nail and it peels right off. And then I got a little bit off to the side, so I will use my thumbnail to score it and take off any little bitty pieces that don't belong. Now usually I don't worry about cleaning them up until I get them all on and then I'll go back over. Um, you could probably use some tools too to help you like a uh, um, cuticle pusher thing um, or uh, you know how sometimes on your clippers you have that little sharp file thing you, you could score it that way But I just find that my other nails score these just fine So there's one now. I'm going to do the next one so I'm gonna pull the plastic cover off and Then I'm going to take the silver tab and pull it apart from the backing and gently pull the tab off and now and if you hold these kind of in the center on the edge it's easier to guide them on so let's see can you see what I'm doing let's see okay all right that the first time I laid it down I kind of had it on my cuticle so that's why I lifted it back up and that's crooked. There's no way that that's going to cover my nail. So we do it again. That's better. That's a little better. So once I'm committing 
to it, I will push down and towards the top of my nail on sides and in the center. Now that nail's just as big. I don't, I'm not worried about saving this. So I'm going to bend it over my nail like that. And then I'm just, well, I don't have a thumbnail on that one. And I just pull off the rest from underneath my nail. That's all I do. So this is a real pretty color too, by the way. So um, that's, I guess it's kind of raspberry-ish. That's what I would call it. So it's a real pretty color. So I'll do one more and then I'm going to pause my video and I'll get them all done and then I'll show you how I put the, uh, all the accents on the rose gold. Okay, so one more. Peel the clear off. Take the backing off. Pull the tab gently. And then center it on your finger. And then once, once you tap it down and you see that it's covering your whole nail, then you can slightly put it over your end of your nail and commit and just push, 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 just like that. And then take off the excess. And it's on like that. Now see, I did, because I wasn't paying attention, I did get it on my cuticle, so I will clean that up. And I'm actually going to do it now. And I'm just using my nail to score it. This will be good for you guys, too, because if you're a beginner, you might need to do this, but just very carefully get it off of your cuticle. And voila, there we go. So I'm going to get these on, and then I will come back. 